Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Squad Bro Country, the virus edition, a.k.a. the Panty Pods. A.k.a. two bros in the nose. There you go, a.k.a. Uh, one Sam and Couchy, two fans of Fauci always. Yes. I got one that Huddleston uh, loved from Charlie Shulman. Squad Bro Country, a.k.a. humanity's dumb vetters with gall from AMC's Better Call Saul. I love it. Wow. People taking it to the next People level. People taking it to the next level. Here's a, there When was they a, take photos, they like to bevel. There we go. Uh, scripture boasts from Quipster hosts featuring hipster ghosts. Huddletron, aka Old Zealand, aka the aka man. Let's jump into a story right away because we got it. We got to get into it. Uh, what do we say about animals taking over? It's happening, right? It's happening. They are not asserting their dominance over humans, though they haven't been doing it by stealing their phones and taking a bunch of pictures on them. And yet we've got it. And here we go. Here and we go. That's the ne- in my opinion, that is the next so, level. So, so, so they're stepping out into the roads. They're they're you'll elephants s- crossing through small you'll towns. You'll see a yak in your backyard. You'll it's see a, a back yak, yak back there. A back yak. Uh, it's nuts. It's kind of amazing. We got a story. A Malaysian man. <laughs> there we go. Has said he found a monkey. Found monkey selfies and videos on his phone after losing it in the bushes. In his monkey selfies. Do- doesn't that sound like something someone who's nineteen would say to a woman he's hitting on in a bar? Girl, I want to I wanna take you home. I want to get some monkey selfies. Let's take some monkey selfies. What does that mean? Swinging from the rafters. What does it mean? Eating bananas. Throwing, throwing our poo at each other. That might be too that's far. is that, that too that's much? Too I don't know. Soon. Some people might like that. Like, come on, he throws that all in, and then she's like, wait, wait, where that, are you going? Yeah, maybe I should have added that last one. Right, computer science student. You're gonna get this wrong. Zach Reeds, mm-hmm. Rhodesy, 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 Rhodesy. He's got a built-in nickname already. He's Rhodesy. Rhodesy posted the but footage. But Rhodesy is not R O A D S Y. It's R O D S I E. It's R O D Z I. Rhodesy uh, posted the footage to Twitter, including a video that appears to show a monkey trying to eat the phone. Well, that go. makes sense. Well, that's how monkeys communicate. They eat what they love, Mister Rhodesy. They who, eat what they don't understand, Mister Rhodesy, who's twenty. Said he thought the phone had been stolen on Saturday morning from the house in the city of. Batu Pahat, mm-hmm. where he lives with his parents. Of course. 20s, God, this guy did. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Advance in this world. Let's go. Uh, and He's a he, computer science He found it again on Sunday afternoon outside the house. It was stolen, and yeah. then it was returned. That's right. He told the standard. What standard? Is that, what is the standard? It's the gold standard of newspapers. Okay. Uh, at first, when the phone was missing, I had no idea how to accept it since it's too strange. Is it strange? Because we've all lost our phone before. That's not that strange. You're like, I lost my phone. I'm an idiot. I have to accept it. Uh, But later, when I opened the gallery, I ran out of words. I don't know if that's the way to describe it. Well, this is a loose translation Translation of what I was saying. I didn't know what to say. I have no idea how to describe it because one of the... One of the impossible things just happened. I do like- Are there more impossible scenarios that couldn't have happened? I shook and laughed so hard and quickly ran towards my parents to tell them. This is one of those phrases that didn't quite translate. <laughs> shook like and I ran towards, towards my, my parents. parents. I went Sounds to- metaphorical, right? <laughs> I ran. I was a little ran, too loose and free away, with my phone, and, and then I, I ran towards my parents. I moved towards my parents on the issue, which is lock it down, lock it down. <laughs> Be I on moved, top of your I stuff. Move towards their side of thinking. Among the footage and pictures, Mr. Rhodesy has a video of a monkey appearing to bite his phone, yeah, as well as a few blurry photos of the monkey itself. Others include out of focus and a couple of naked selfies of Anthony Weiner. No. I don't understand it. That's I weird. don't understand. How it. did those get in there? He's back in the news. <laughs> Other uh, others include out of focus images of trees, plants, and undergrowth. It's not possible to verify how the content came to be on his phone independently. Yeah, the monkeys took the, the monkeys pictures. pictures. But how? How did they get in his lock screen? I have so many questions right here. Mr. Rosey dismissed the idea that someone could be playing an elaborate trick on him, adding, "There is no way that it's a prank." Because there's no one else in the house except me and my parents. And my parents don't know how to pull pranks. Most parents don't know how to pull pranks, and they're not going to waste their time say pranking this. their kids. Unless it's you who took the out-of-focus photos and are trying to make it look like a monkey did this. That would be- So a, you can get into the news. You pranking us. Pranking the world. You're punking the world. No, no monkey. No. 
Monkeys did this. All right. Monkeys did this. And this is a sign that I think they will soon be riding horses and shooting guns. And you say like original plan of the apes. Yes. Or they're going to rule us or worse. Okay. Now this is, this is what I think might be happening right now to the monkeys. And this story is the harbinger of the change. This is the canary in the, this is the monkey in the coal mine. The monkey in the coal mine is that the monkeys are going to evolve super quickly, not into a dominant, angry, militant monkey. Right. They're going to move past that really quick. They're going to move into cell phone obsessed junkies that we are deeper than we are in a much quicker and deeper sense. Like they'll develop low self-esteem if they're, you know, not 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 being being included on social media. Or not be, if their photos aren't being liked. Likes. Yes. They'll become obsessed with that sort of views on TikTok. Of course. (laughs) And uh, maybe they could take over the world if they wanted to, but instead they're like, I want to do it by becoming an influencer. I don't want to, man, I don't want to enslave humankind. I just want to have a fire festival that works. Yeah. And to me, that's the new planet of the apes, right? This is why you put your lock code on your phone. This is the reboot of planet of the apes. Apes steal a phone. They learn. We've taught them so much. They learn how to evolve past where we are. They, you but- think they're going to rule us, but then they just become phone obsessed, junky teenagers. Right. New planet of the apes. That's it. I think that that could work. That would be a scarier horror film than anything because now we have to get these monkeys off the phone. Good luck getting a monkey off TikTok. Instead of get this, I got to get this monkey off my back. It's I got to get, get this, this monkey, monkey off, off my, my app. That's right. <laughs> plus, on the plus side, they did clean up some of his apps. Did they clean yeah, up yeah, some yeah. of his apps? Get- he, did he really need Fox Sports yeah. and Fox Sports Go? No, he didn't. They got rid of one of those. Smart, Fox Sports Go smart. is the only one that works. Did they Deleted. get him signed up for Truebill? They did. Because you want to knock down some of the subscriptions you don't need. Right, and they also paid a couple of his bills in his banking app. I think that's car nice. payments should be on auto pay. You Agreed. don't want to have to remember that every month. That's you're going to forget. Pay. No one. That's not a payment that's going to fluctuate. You you'll know when to cancel. And the it monkeys at the end of the get thing. it. The monkeys are like, if this guy's leaving his phone out outside where we can steal it and take selfies, is he really going to be on top of all of his no, bill pay? No, he's they not. got it. They changed it. This is the new Planet of the Apes. <laughs> planet. Of the apes. Planet the, of the apps. Planet of the apps. Planet of the apps is the development of Planet of the Apes. There you go. That's our first story down the books. Planet of the apps. Guy loses his phone. Monkey takes pictures. Boom. All right. We'll be back right after this. We have a great. Another is another an animal, animal story. Episode. Never harass a bison on a motorcycle. We'll tell you why right after the break. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, this got to tell you, this next, is the week, Saturday night. Saturday night, we've got the live dumb people town. We want you to get tickets because it is going to be awesome. I'm serious. Mike Birbiglia, Mike Doty. Doty is so fired up to play the Dumb People Town theme song. He's going to play some of our favorite Mike Doty songs ever throughout. Birbiglia is just the the best. He is one of our favorite people to run with. One of the with. quickest thinkers out there. And we've never had him on Dumb People Town. So this is the time to get it. You go to eventbrite.com, get your tickets now. You don't want to get shut out. I believe general admission sold and, I, out. and couples might be sold out yes. too. So, so all that's left are group tickets and ticket plus. Get them now because those are going to go too now that all those are sold out. And then there's still about 20 or so pre-show hang tickets if you want to do that. That was a blast last time. It's 15 bucks. You add it on to what your ticket price is. All right. Let's jump into this story. Shall, oh, also the YouTube page, Scarbro Country. Look it up. And, and we are putting up episodes of Cheap Seats. I'm so excited to do that. You guys are going to love it. All right. So yesterday, we work with a bear. Yeah, yeah, we Jay can't. and I work with a bear. We're not allowed to say what it was. It was we, for a TV show. Yeah, we were. We got bear. very close to an actual bear. So close to a bear. It was very cool. They're like, that's an electric fence. And so he's not going to come out of there. And I'm like, like he is come it? out of there. Is it? I mean, this is how close my hand was to his face. Just and and right now I fear that Jay might bite my hand. Yeah. That's how close he was. He looked tired. He looked sick of it all. Yeah, they Didn't worked look, him pretty hard. They worked the that bear day. pretty hard. I mean, he was unbelievable. He did a great job, and he did some great tricks with us when we were trying to do a bit with him where we were improvising with the bear. Yeah. Very cool. First time we'd ever really worked that closely with a gigantic animal. He was what? 200 pounds? 400 pounds? 400 pounds. 400 pounds. 400 pounds. This is a big bear. Kodiak. The Kodiak biggest. bear. If he stood on his hind legs, he was probably about 6'3". If you saw him out in the wild, you'd be terrified. If you saw him out in the wild, you'd be like, he could dunk a tennis ball. Yeah. Or- Not a basketball because he couldn't get his paw around the whole thing, but he could dunk a tennis ball. Am I right? He was, he was huge. He was huge. huge. Very cool, interesting, terrifying experience. 
But what we came out of it thinking was, you got to respect these giant right. animals. So, so that's what it was. Like I saw the trainer ordering this animal around and I saw the thing and I was like, maybe we need to give this guy a break. I mean, they were feeding him really well and yes. he was really psyched and they were taking care of him. But there was, I came out of the thing not with fe a feeling of greater respect for animals and yeah. we need to respect them. And this story that we're about to tell is about two dumb brothers and their, you know so and, well. their, and their disrespect for the animal kingdom. They are, they're idiots in every facet of their life. And then the disrespect that they have for animals will seem to you like no surprise. So two brothers accused of riding motorcycles off-road and harassing bison in Yellowstone National Park have pleaded not guilty. All right, we're sorry. We apologize. We did it. Dallin McAllister. Dallin? Dallin. Is, is it, did they try to say Dylan and just misspelled it? Is it Dylan? No, it's Dallin. It's Dallin. Is it Dallas? Dallas? No, no, it's, it's Dallin. Dallin. It's a name you've never heard before and never would want to hear. Like they tried to name him Dylan and tried to make him Dallas, but they wound up with the worst version of both those names. Dallin. Dallin. God, Jesus. that too. With that name, Dallin, you were destined to ride motorcycles and harass bison. That's right. Dumb. Dallin McAllister, 25, of Provo, Provo, Spain? Utah. No, oh, okay. Provo, Utah. Provo, Utah. Yeah. And Tyler McAllister, 36. So Tyler, 36, and his brother, 25. What can we say about Dallin? Translation, Dallin, Dallin was a mistake. Well, <laughs> I would argue that Tyler was Tyler a mistake. Tyler also probably a mistake. <laughs> right? Of Gilbert, Arizona. They don't even live in the same place. Right. They just get together to harass bison. I don't think they can. I think they have to like stay in separate states. They entered the pleas Monday before the U.S. magistrate judge, Mark Carmen Yellowstone. Is I love Mark Carmen. Uh, no, Mark Carmen. Oh, Mark Carmen. So he's a judge in Yellowstone. So I, I wonder if the court is outside. That was my first thought. I'm like, if there's a court in Yellowstone, like and the jury is like made up of a bunch of animals. Here's what I think. Is Mark Carmen a bear? He could be a bear. We haven't seen him. So the jury is like a couple bison, maybe some woodchucks, uh, a moose, a beaver. And, and these guys walk up and they see the bison. They're like, no, oh, why are we saying not guilty? Yeah, exactly. Each was charged with operating a motor vehicle in prohibited areas and feeding, touching, teasing, frightening, or intentionally disturbing wildlife. Isn't that a journey song? Yeah, that is. Feeling, Feeling touching, touching teasing a bison now it's your turn girl to cry na 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 city of the angel so we counted once, by the way, the number of 164 knots. knots. I thought it was 151. It's 164. The two drove off near Fountain Flats. Nothing good happens in Fountain, Fountain Flats. Fountain Flats to me sounds like a Rascal Flats cover band that only sings Georgia, Florida line songs. Fountain Flats Drive in Western Yellowstone Friday evening. I love Yellowstone, by the I way. Love I, I've been too. old faithful. Been the, I love Jenny Lake Lodge. Love I it. love there's a pioneer uh pioneer diner in the uh in this huge hotel. It's yep. so good. Okay. Uh they drove in the Western Yellow Yellowstone Friday evening. Mm -hmm. Park spokeswoman Ash. Spokeswoman Ashton Hooker said, <laughs> Hooker? Hooker. Who's she, who's she working for? <laughs> Diana Pimsky? <laughs> Hooker and Pimsky. They're the new Rizzolian Isles. Isles. Ashton Hooker is the Ashton Kutcher of TJ Hooker's. Video posts online showed motorcyclists riding off-road within several feet feet of a group of running bison, including some calves, the Bozeman Daily Chronicle reported. Tyler McAllister didn't immediately return a phone message Tuesday at his solar power business. There is what? no way he can run a solar power business. That is far too evolved for so, Tyler McAllister. So my guess is, is his business just solar powered? Like, it's a different business. Like, oh. Maybe if it's like a cloudy day, his phones aren't working, so he can't <laughs> All right, get solar power. If he's selling solar power, he's like solar powered porta potty business. He can't get to the phone because there's a cloudy day. But if this guy has his own solar powered business and a motorcycle, imagine the ladies this guy can get oh in my his life. He pulls them. Dallin didn't immediately respond to a request for comment Thursday through Facebook. That's the way Dallin. If, if your name is Dallin, the only place you can be reached is Facebook. That's the only way you communicate. You don't even messages. own a phone. No. You're just throwing racist stuff way out on Facebook. That's right. Visitors in Yellowstone are required to stay 25 yards from bison, at least 100 yards from bears and wolves. Yeah. We were inches from a bear, and I get it. 
You, you have to treat the animals like you're a pedophile and they're in elementary school. 500 yards. Yard, get 500 yards away. Visitors may not go off the road on vehicles or bicycles. Well, looks like someone, you know, forgot to poke Dallin on Facebook and tell him he lost that detail. Mm -hmm. Yellowstone visitors had at least two other run-ins with bison this year. A bison knocked a woman down near Old Faithful in May. Yeah. If you see a bison, bison coming, get out of the way. You sure it wasn't J.R. Ryder? Could have been. Uh, you don't need the picture. Was That's what pregnant? we're trying to say. You don't need the picture. Hi, here, there's a there's a feature on everyone's camera. And I just want to tell you guys about it so if you, you don't get knocked over by a bison. If you go like this. You can zoom in. You can zoom in with you your. You can stand farther away, zoom in, and get the same picture you would have got if you were up close. Nobody is going to give you the reaction you want when you show them the bison picture on your phone. Yeah. I, I want you to know that Most right people now. are going to be like, oh, that's great. That's, that's great. cool. I can like. Because we can Google images on the internet of bison that are taken with much larger lenses that are longer lenses and it can feel like we're right up their nose. So by you saying I need to take this picture, what you're saying is I have most people in my life who don't believe me when I tell them that something happened. That, either that or you have such a false inflated sense of yourself that you're like, I can do better than that guy who's a professional photographer. I'll just take for, it on my phone while nest. I'm running and it's just shaky. Terrible. A bison also gored a woman after she approached it to take a photo of it near Yellowstone's Lake Bridge in June. She was flown by helicopter to a hospital. Zoom, Zoom in. in. Zoom in, dummy. Or don't take the picture. Take a video. Take a video of the bison going after and you. And then of yourself showing how close you are to the bison. Motorcycle. Okay. I've and said this said before. said this on, on the bike. Motorcyclists are assholes. Not all of them, but some of them are. That's my take. They ignore the laws of the intersection, mm -hmm. you know, by going in between lanes. They, they do ignore COVID protocols by going up to Sturgis, a lot of them. And they ignore the rules when it comes to riding a motorcycle and loving and touching and squeezing and teasing bison. <laughs> Let's go back to that for a sec. Touching and feeding, I get, but teasing? teasing? No one likes to get bullied. Not even a bison. No, bisons don't like it at all. Not anymore. These guys were bullies on bikes. They're Think like 1980s teen film bullies, like Matt Dillon's bodyguard. In Moody, my, Moody and my bodyguard. Th he, that his sort of, bodyguard. His bodyguard. Awful. And they deserve to go down. They deserve to go down. That, that's absolutely right. And the fact that there is video and they are still entering a guilty plea. A not guilty plea. A not guilty not plea. Not guilty. This goes back to the thing where people can get admit, caught. And they just, it wasn't me. I wonder where that's coming from. It wasn't me. You got a guy who's sitting at the top who's responsible for 200,000 people dying, or at least a good portion of them dying. Said, I downplayed it. He's like, no, I upplayed it. I upplayed it. Yep. I, even though you have me on tape saying I downplayed it. I upplayed it. I upplayed it. I Say, downplayed it with my words, but I upplayed, upplayed it with, with my, my actions, actions, which were actually worse than my words. Say goodbye to the solar business, buddy. Sun, sun going set on that solar business. Say goodbye to your Facebook account, Dallin. Yep. You've teased your last bison for a while, dummies. And you've inspired them to want to fight back and hurt other humans. So this is our parting message. And we're saying it directly to the bison, to all the bison who are following Do not this judge us human beings on the behavior of stupid McAllisters. I mean, one of them is named Dallin. You they do not represent all of us humans. They do not. Think of your park ranger. She's a human. She loves you. Think of a veterinarian. He's a human or she's a human. They're safe and good humans who care about you. So if if you if you absolutely have to fight back animals, and we're speaking only to the animals this who listen to our to you, podcast, bison. please attack people on motorcycles. That's all we're asking. Even if they're not teasing you or touching you or squeezing you or taunting you, nope. just take out someone on a motorcycle just to send them a message. There all right, go. that's our show. That's the show. There Guys, go. stay protected, stay connected. Don't be infected. Let's start this week off strong. Uh, hey, this is not a hoax. But we got the jokes. Wear a mask, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. La ti da, la ti da ti da ti da, la ti da. 